Is drink driving a criminal offence in Queensland? Why does it even matter if it is? My name's Dave, I'm a Brisbane criminal lawyer, and that's what we're going to be discussing right now. Is drink driving a criminal offence and why does it matter? It actually matters a lot because there is a big difference between convictions for traffic offences and convictions for criminal offences. It can change the penalties that you receive and it can also have a serious impact on your life. Let me give you a few examples. If you're applying for a job, you might be asked to provide your criminal record. This is only going to show convictions for criminal offences such as drug offences, assaults or dishonesty offences. It won't show convictions for traffic offences such as speeding or using a mobile phone while driving. Therefore, unless you're specifically asked to provide your traffic history, which most people aren't, your future employer will never find out about your previous traffic offences. Another example is if you want to travel. You often need to disclose any criminal history you have when applying for a visa to enter another country. If you have a criminal record, there's a good chance you won't be allowed in but it's unlikely you'd be asked to provide details about traffic offences since most countries really don't care about them. A third example is if you're part of a professional association where you need to disclose any offences you've been charged with. This can include lawyers, doctors, accountants, and so on. A criminal conviction could prevent you from becoming part of that association or from getting a professional license. So what about drink driving offences? Are they traffic offences or are they criminal offences? Well, if you want to get really technical, there could be an argument that they're criminal offences. But I'm not going to bore you with all the details, because all you probably want to know is the answer. In Queensland, the offence of drink driving is treated as a traffic offence, even if it's a serious offence of driving under the influence of alcohol. This means that a drink driving conviction will show up in the same traffic record as any speeding fines you've got. It should not show up in your criminal history, and you'll probably never need to tell anyone about it. There are, however, some exceptions to this. For example, you may need to tell your motor vehicle insurer that you've been charged with a drink driving offence. Also, there are some situations where you may still need to disclose a drink driving conviction to future employers or when you're applying to enter some countries. For this reason, I always find out if a drink driving conviction could have an impact on my clients. If it could have an impact, I'll make an application to the magistrate or the judge to not record a conviction. Most courts will need a lot of convincing before they'll agree to not record a drink driving conviction and therefore the more information that you can provide to your lawyer about how a conviction could impact you, the better chance you'll have. So what should you do if you're charged with a drink driving offence in Queensland? The first thing you should do, always, is to speak with a lawyer who handles traffic law cases. They'll be able to take full instructions from you and will be able to give you advice about whether a conviction is going to impact you or not. Hopefully this has been useful for you. If you have any questions you'd like me to answer, leave a comment and I'll do my best to respond. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you stay up to date with Queensland's drink driving laws. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay safe.